So journaling is really good at making you more mindful, more resilient, and more calm. If you didn't know that journaling can help with all those things, you better keep watching. Hey, it's Kyla Denano here, and we're talking about five ways that journaling can make you more resilient, more calm, and more mindful. I love journaling. I've been journaling for at least the last 15 years, and I say that because I recently found a journal that was dated in 2007. I know that I was journaling before then, but I don't know where those records are. They're probably in storage somewhere, but I absolutely love journaling. I love being able to sit down with my thoughts, get them out. And so what I do is called free writing, where I literally will just sit down and I'll just jot down whatever's happening and you know process it through the words. I also like to use prompted and guided journals where they give me a specific prompt for the day or they ask a specific question that they want me to answer and write about. And I also use topical journals. So there's a number of different journals that you can use, okay? So I don't want you to be intimidated by journaling. And you're here today because you wanna find out how journaling can help you become more resilient, more mindful, and more calm because it can. So let's jump into the list of the five ways that journaling can make you more resilient more mindful and more calm. So the first thing is that journaling is deeply personal. The personal aspect of journaling is one of the things that I absolutely love, right? My days as a mom and a wife and a consultant, all of these things are not, they're not the most dramatic. <laughs> I would go so far as to say I have some boring days. And you know what, I enjoy that. And I say that the days can be boring because if you looked at them on paper, there's very little drama going on, very little that is not planned. You know, maybe we'll switch up what we're eating for the day, but there's not a lot of chaos happening and I constructed my life to be that way. However, that does not mean that my emotions, my feelings, my mental state are in that same soft, calm, relaxed state, right? I have a toddler, I am consulting, so I'm not working full time for the first time. Since I was 15 years old, that is a huge change. Also, we have a care worker that comes into the house and sits with our daughter. There are all kinds of things that are happening in the world that are mentally taxing. And journaling helps with that because journaling is so deeply personal for me. It's a chance where I get to sit down and explain what happened in the day. Even if it's not, oh my goodness, this guy didn't call me, that person didn't call me, oh, what's gonna happen, boy trouble. What if it's just, after almost three years of marriage, I realized my husband is great at this, this, and that, and I never realized that before, right? To me, if I was reading that in a book, oh wow, this person's boring. But as my life, that's a big deal. And I'll probably look back on that in three years and be like, oh, so cute, little three year anniversary, Kyla, that's what you were dealing with. <laughs> so journaling is deeply personal. And that's one thing that I absolutely love about journaling. And it's one of those things that really helps you be mindful because you are writing down exactly what you're feeling and you have no reason, no incentive to lie to yourself in your journal, right? So that's one way that journaling really helps. So one of my favorite things about journaling is that it allows you to change your perspective. There are times when I'll be really frustrated and I will run to social media, especially Twitter. It's one of my favorite ones to vent or talk about all of the things. And I go to social media and I start to write it and I'm like, no, it's too personal. It's not what you really want to put out here on this forum. Tell somebody. And so then I'll run to a friend and I'll try to text them or call them and they're busy or they're doing stuff or they're working and I'm like, this is probably for the best because this needs to be in your journal, right? There are a number of times when I turn to social media or other things and I'm like, Kyla, this needs to be in your journal. And often I'm seeking out other people or social media because I want some back and forth. I want some engagement so that I can start a process. But guess what? journaling will help you process. I love journaling because it really can help you with your perspective. It can help things change as you're writing. You can start off frustrating. You can make a list of all the things you're feeling right now and then your hand just keeps going and you're writing and you're writing and you're writing and by the end of it you're like wow I just processed that. <laughs> I do not feel the same way that I felt when I started this. So that is why I absolutely love journaling. It's a great way to change your perspective so another way that journaling really helps is that journaling gives you permission to express every emotion that you're feeling. I'm an adult. I'm older than 30 years old 
and I have a full complicated big life and there are times when I am upset in a meeting and I can't scream out that I'm upset. There are times when my daughter gets frustrated and I want to be upset as well and I'm, I cannot show that frustration at the moment. There are times when I want to lay in bed all day and I can't do that, right? My entire day is full of things where I have to either sit on the emotions or try to process them later on. And that is why journaling helps me become more mindful and journaling helps with my mental health because journaling gives me permission to feel every single thing I want to feel. If I want to be ecstatic, if I want to be upset, if I want to be elated, if I want to be frustrated, if I want to just be calm, if I want to be boring, if I want to be anything, I can feel the full gamut of any of those emotions and I can put them in my journal. So another way that journaling can help you be more mindful, more resilient, and more calm is that journaling creates a record of your life. So I heard a quote somewhere, I wish I could remember where, but I heard a quote somewhere where they said, your brain is meant for processing, it's not meant for storing and keeping. And that blew my mind because I think of my mind as a file cabinet. I have this, I have that, I have this, I have that, I have all these things, open a drawer, put something in there, right? And the brain might work that way to an extent, but there are things that I want to remember. There are things and ideas that pop up in my head and I'm like, it's gone. I tried to keep it, I can't. So whether my mind remembered it or not, if I record that for my journal, my journal will keep the record. Whatever you're writing about for that day was important enough for you to put it down on paper. And that record of your life is incredible. And it really helps me be more mindful and stay present in everyday life because I know that whatever happened is going to be recorded when I sit down to write about it. And so the last thing here about why I believe that journaling is amazing to help you become more mindful, more resilient and more calm is that journaling allows you to process your life through words. And that one sounded kind of weird. And that is really important to me because all day long, you're thinking, you're doing, you're going, you're moving, you're doing all this stuff. But when you sit down to journal, you can take the letters of the alphabet and you will form words and you will write them on paper or you'll jot them down in your phone or you'll record them on your voice notes, whatever it is that you do to journal. And you'll get those words out and somehow the most amazing, fantastic, devastating, whatever thing was able to be captured in words. I'm trying to think of the times that things have happened where my brain just literally could not process. Like I needed a moment to just, wow, that was incredible. I need a moment to just sit in it and say, that happened, wow. And after that initial shock wears off, when it is time for me to journal about it, my brain could process those things in words. And that alone, for me, I am a big nerd. <laughs> But for me, it's amazing that you can capture all of those things in words. So journaling really helps you to process your life through words. And that is one of the things I love about journaling. And it's one of those ways that I feel like journaling really does make you more calm, more resilient, and more mindful. So those were the five ways that I feel like journaling can help you become more mindful, more calm, and more resilient. I know I've been using all three of those words in a different sequence. Please do not be distracted by that. But journaling really is an incredible practice. I already have a video that I will list above, which is the four different journals that I think everybody should own and use. Feel free to watch that and learn more about journaling. And journaling does not have to be complicated. You can choose any medium. You can write down a note on the back of a napkin and that is journaling, right? You can send a voicemail to yourself. Anything where you are recording your thoughts, where you're getting it out of your head, where you're processing it through words, is journaling. So leave a comment. Let me know if you already use a journal, if you're interested in journaling, or if you're intimidated by journaling, right? We can talk about how you can work through that and you can start getting your words out in your journal. So I will see you later. Bye.